welcome to today's webinar, the first webinar this year. I wish you at first a happy new year. Our webinar today has the topic consider construction stages in RFM6. My name is Andreas Hörold. I'm responsible for marketing and public relations in the Dubai software company. For instance, the Dubai website, press releases, the German and English webinars, etc. My colleagues can introduce themselves. Yeah, hello. I also wish you a healthy new year. Uh, my name is Adrian Langhammer. I'm responsible for customer support and development and they are especially for construction stages and uh, also for concrete design. And I will show you today the example. Yeah, hello, my name is Stefan Frenzel. Uh, I work here at Lubal in the support and also of course in developing the dynamic uh, add-ons. Um, and I will today answer your questions about the construction, st construction stages. Um, yeah wish you a nice webinar. Okay, thank you for introduction. Then we can switch off our webcams that the attendees can see the full screen. You can ask questions during the webinar with the panel on the right side of your screen. You can enter a question here and we will answer you. In the case you don't get an answer during the webinar, because there are too many, you will get an email afterwards with the answer. The other way is to watch the entire webinar and then email questions to info at global.com. To the agenda today, at first Adrian will yeah, define the construction stages on the model, then in the second step on the load side, then the third point of the webinar is designed based on construction stages. And the fourth point is review of results and documentation. And yeah, after the presentation, yeah, he will at another point, yeah, he will introduce some new features in the add-on. Okay, maybe in additional information we will record or we record the webinar and you will get an email in the next days where you can find the recording and the link to the models. Maybe at the end of the webinar I will show you where you can find all as the recording and the models. So then I hand over the screen to Adrian. Then let's go, Adrian. So you should see my screen now. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. First of all, uh, short introduction of the example. I want or well, the main example I want to show today. Uh, this example is based on a literature example from the German book Finite Elemente in der Baustatik Praxis from Rustler and BART, which is in turn um, also based on another example from Bischof and Pletzinger. I did not use the whole structure of the literature example. I only used a uh, substructure to show the effects uh, regarding construction stages. Um, the structure, as you see, is already modeled. There a um, short description of the structure. There is a shear core um, with concrete walls with a thickness of 40 cm and there are also slabs here. I can show it maybe also so. There are slabs um, with a thickness of 20 cm and there are um, quite slender columns um, here um, with a square cross, a square cross section with uh, 20 centimeters aside. And first, before I start with the construction stages, I will calculate the internal forces and the def uh, deflection um, of the whole structure. 
mm. with self weight without considering the construction stages to show what the topic is in this example, what the problem um, is in this example. Um, yeah, if we take a look at the deflections, we see that the uh, slabs here hang on the inner core and if we take a look at the uh, internal forces, um, bending moments in the surface, um, we see, I have here a section in the middle, um, we see that um, as, high, as higher we get, um, the um, the moment about the support is uh, increasing and the moment in the field is um, decreasing. Mm, this effect um, um, appears uh, due to the different uh, st stiffness distribution in the structure and due to the effect that the um, slabs hang on the core. And um, in reality, you do not uh, build um, the whole structure in one step, you will uh, by, uh, build it um, uh, in single stories and the weight is uh, applied not in one moment, so it is step by step applied and to consider this we um, can use the construction stages and to of course to avoid such topics like we see here that the moments are maybe not correct in the in the highest story. Yeah, um, so I will show the inf input for the uh, construction stages. First of all, you will find the construction stages add-on here in the base data where you find all the other uh, add-ons. Here on the left side, construction status analysis or short CSA and I already activated um, the add-on and yeah and the input um, is done uh, here in the navigator um, in two parts. There is one part um, on the uh, structure side to define the stages uh, on the structure side and uh, the other part is uh, definition of the stages on the load side. So we will start with the constru uh, construction uh, side. So um, I already mm, defined some stages. Um, if there is no stage defined, you can start here with uh, right-click new construction stage. And then I, I defined them already because it, the input for the stories is uh, quite similar. Uh, for the whole structure, so I don't want to waste time and yeah, so therefore I, I defined already uh, some of the stages. Um, for the input of the construction stages, mm, you have here in the first uh, register um, the parts or the structural elements which could be used in the, in the construction stages. If you want to use uh, one of the uh, structural elements like members or surfaces you have to check here and then you will get an additional register where you have to uh, do the import or where you have to choose the members or surfaces which should be uh, activated in the particular stage. Um, yeah, there's another part here on the right side mm an input regarding the time-dependent analysis. Um, this is an another add-on which is at the moment not um, ready. It is still under development. Mm, in the future there will be the possibility to um, to consider also the time-dependent analysis together with the construction stages. Uh, but as I said, it is uh, at the moment still under development. I guess when it is ready, we will have an additional um, webinar regarding this topic. Uh, regarding this topic, so we will uh, show then, especially the time-dependent analysis. Today, there's only the 
yeah, let's say calculation of the internal forces uh, considering the construction stages. Um, so yeah, um, after I've uh, checked here the members and the surfaces for this construction stages, I have to choose which member, first which member and then which surface should be applied in the stage. So I will start with the member. As I said, I already did some input. Um, where if there is once a column or a member selected uh, in the stages before, I could not select it again. You see this. Um, so I will choose the following members and surfaces. Maybe I can turn off the results from the linear, uh, from the uh, load case one. Um, yeah, and I have to uh, select the, the surfaces. I will now in, in the, the whole course sections are 21. I can now, or I will define the following stages till the end and go, go through the input. Uh, it remembers the input from the um, stage before. So here it is uh, activated again members and surfaces. And I will add the, uh, the last columns here. I can add it by um, clicking, uh, picking them, or I can also add here the uh, columns numerical. They have here in this example the same number as the um, construction stage, so I know the number of the um, columns for the surfaces. I have to do also the input. If I, uh, it's the same like for the columns, if I uh, select surfaces, it can only apply the surfaces which are not um, used in the stages before. And I will here um, finish with the input. I made some short uh, comments here that I know which construction stage um, or in which construction stage the elements should be used. So and then I'm ready with the, um, with the definition. Um, in the first uh, stage Maybe I'm not sure if I already did it. Yeah, I did it. Uh, I already choose it. Um, of course, in the first construction stage, I activated additional nodal supports and line supports. And of course, um, there's uh, only one nodal support at the bottom of the first uh, column. So I can here use uh, also all or I define or I select only the, this, this single um, nodal support and here it's the same for line supports, I selected to use all um, supports in the first construction stage. Later, mm, I also will show a small example regarding um, modifying proper properties uh, during the stages. In this example, mm, the elements are only added and once they were added, they will not be modified anymore. But then at the, uh, at the end of the webinar, I will show a small uh, um, example where I have to modify the, the elements during the construction stage. So this should be the input of the construction stages. After I did the input, I see here um, also in this drop down the single um, construction stages and I can go through and maybe check graphically uh, if everything was defined correctly. Uh, later there will also the results here uh, available in this uh, menu. Um, yeah, and now I will uh, define the, the construction stages on the load side. So we have on the one side the, the structure and now on the other side the um, the loads. Um, if I um, um, defined uh, the, if I've defined the construction stages here, they are automatically automatically generated here um, in the load cases and combinations. So I can here, for example, edit uh, construction stage, and here I have to choose uh, settings regarding the calculation and also do the import for the used load cases. So first of all here is the type of the calculation. There is a based uh, a construction stages analysis based on load combinations. This is a 
yeah, let's say nonlinear calculation. Mm. And there's another method, um, the uh, stages calculation um, based on result combinations. This is a linear calculation um, which uses linear superposition and some um, special algorithms. But this is uh, this function is also at the moment under development. I guess it will be yeah available soon. Um, now at the moment um, we have um, only the don't have to be only it is the more um, spe specific um, method the nonlinear calculation uh, based on load combinations. Um, yeah, I use here um, get geometrically linear analysis, and I have here also some additional register, uh, registers where I um, have to choose here the load cases which should be applied in the in the construction stage. Um, there's uh, one load case uh, self rate and one life load. Um, the self rate I will activate in the First construction stage, um, according to the load case type, uh, permanent, the uh, uh, program uh, considers uh, this load case as permanent, which means that it is applied to every single following stage. And the um, program automatically um, knows or detects um, if um, new structural elements are applied in the stages, then also the self rate of these um, elements uh, will be applied. So this is the typical load case self rate with here um, zero point, uh, 1.0, uh, factor 1.0, um, which is here then applied in the single um, stages for all new elements which are applied in, in the constructed stages. And after the um, construction is finished, and it is, could be normal use, I can um, add the life load. Of course, and this is a bit a simplified uh, structure. Mm, of course, in reality, you will probably also have in the last or the finished state, um, you have, have also um, other life loads and um, snow and wind. Yeah, and loads like these here, this uh, a bit simplified. I only have one live load here for the last uh, construction stage, which I will apply here in construction stage 21. And the program um, knows here that it is a non-permanent load and uh, or that it is a live load and it is uh, it considers considers this live load as non-permanent. Um, yeah, um, the next register is uh, an overview um, regarding the uh, combinations, the generated or defined combinations. At the moment, we did not uh, um, define some combinations, so this is uh, empty at the moment. And, uh, you will see here the elements after the combinations are generated. And back to the main register. There's now the topic, uh, we have defined now the loads uh, for the or for the uh, construction stages. And now we have to choose if we want to generate the um, combinatorics or the combinations. And this is possible if you here use this option to uh, create the combination. It can be Nations according to the combination wizard. Mm. So if I want to generate the combinations in the finished state of the structure, I can here check and go to the detailed settings. And here I have to check uh, or I have to be sure that um, the construction stages are considered. And then after I did this input, the program should automatically generate uh, should generate the uh, the load combinations, or first the action combinations and then the load combinations. So I will see, yeah, there are two action combinations, one with only death load and one with considering also the um, life load. 
And I see here they are generated through the construction stage 21. And after that, if I go to the load combinations, the uh, load combinations are generated for this construction stage. Um, there are two for the design, one with only uh, death load and one uh, also considering the life load. And then the program needs to uh, generate uh, also some auxiliary combinations um, where, um, where it is possible to consider the um, load case with the uh, used fac factor for the combinations. Um, the normal stages calculation would be performed with um, 1.0 uh, permanent load and here for the combinations it need the, the construction stages or and yeah the construction stages needs to be uh, need to be calculated again with the factor 1.05. Um, yeah um, this is the automatic combination of course there's also the possibility maybe I forgot to show here's the settings and the base the settings for the automatic combination I used it here um, according to your code uh, with German annex there are also other uh, standards uh, available but here in the example I use your code um, <coughs> with German annex um, yeah of course there's also the possibility if you do not want to use the automatic combinations you could define um, combinations manually. I will show this uh, as an alternative. Um, so I can create here a new load combination. Uh, maybe I say it is user defined. Um, and I can maybe say or I maybe say it uh, should be a, a user defined combination based on the construction stage 10 some somewhere uh, in the middle uh, of the building process but it's just to show how the the input works then um, if I um, have defined it I have to choose the analysis uh, type I choose the same as for the um, construction stages and then I could here in the special options this is filled for the automatic combination. It is filled automatically. Here I have to define the special options, which are once the um, construction stage, which should be considered. So this is, for example, construction stage number 10. And I have to choose the previous uh, stage, um, so the initial state uh, of construction stage 10. This is the uh, construction stage 9 here. Um, yeah, uh, now I'm ready with the definition of the load combinations and I could um, check here with OK and I could uh, start the calculation maybe first of the combination 2 in the finished, uh, for the finished um, construction and so this is with uh, with uh, life load that's also construction one um, only for the death load here mm, we see um, normally if you use um, often without the construction stages um, it is possi possible to calculate the internal forces or the deformations with uh, multi-threading so it could use more um, uh, processes um, here because the um, the construction stages need um, the result of the um, stage before it uh, is only possible to calculate it step by step and after this is ready I can we can have a look at the results maybe we take a result uh, we take a look at the results without life load mm, to compare um, the internal forces uh, with the um, with the um, load case one which we saw in the beginning so now if we consider construction stage we see um, that there's another distribution of the internal forces 
we have now um, the field moment uh, in the beginning and the end it's quite similar also the um, moment above the support um, yeah and this should be um, the realistic um, distribution of the internal forces if we consider that um, that while that the deformation in the columns are balanced during the building process and that uh, the the load is not uh, applied in only one uh, step. Yeah. So um, after we have the internal forces, uh, we can go on with the design. I will here show only as an example um, the concrete design uh, only to show the philosophy. Um, it doesn't matter if it is here the concrete design or steel or uh, timber design. Um, I only want to show here how the design in um, combination with the construction stages uh, works. So I go here to concrete design. I also uh, I already prepared the the input for the um, concrete design, and I can now calculate um, the concrete design for the uh, ultimate limit state. I have to start the calculation here. Oh, and there, yeah, that's a good hint. I forgot something. Um, yeah, while defining the load combinations and my user defined load combination, I completely forgot to assign a load case um, because yeah, it is a user defined combination and I of course also have to uh, um, choose um, the the load case which should be considered and de facto this is something I completely forgot but that's not a problem yeah and now sh the calculation should be should be possible should only influence this one um, combination this one user defined combination um, yeah and after the uh, calculation of the uh, internal forces and the concrete design is ready. I will show how the uh, construction stages are considered in the results um, for the concrete design. I should be ready soon. So I guess already preparing the results. And yeah. Not should be ready. And then we see here I prepared it here. Um not uh, I don't want to show it now especially the, the all the single design checks I only want to show as an example here the um, required reinforcement in the same sections uh, which I used for the uh, internal forces so the required reinforcement at the top and at the bottom side uh, for the uh, section um, I see here in the in the graphics mm, regarding the construction stages um, I see the, uh, the results of the construction stages once in the uh, tables for the results. So there's uh, here for the um, required reinforcement, in the tables for the required reinforcement, I have here the construction stage 10 and the construction uh, stage 21. These are the um, construction stages where I uh, defined a combination for. Uh, load combination um, here for construction stage 10 the uh, user defined combination 23 and for the uh, automatic uh, or for the construction stage 21 the automatically generated uh, combination um, 2. Um, I also can here um, select um, different uh, tables and the uh, construction stages are uh, also considered in this tables, but this is some uh, special topic regarding the uh, design. Um, I only want to show 
um, the principle of um, of considering the uh, construction stages. If I want to ta uh, take a look at the graphical results of the construction stage, I can here choose the uh, construction stage. And here, if concrete design is uh, choose here, uh, then I see the results for the concrete design for co uh, construction stage 21. If I switch, for example, to statical analysis, I would see the um, internal forces of this construction stage 21. Mm. And here um, I also can switch to our user-defined uh, combination or to construction stage 10 with the user-defined combination and then I see the results um, of the design for this uh, construct, uh, construction stage 10. If I um, have a construction stage where I did not apply or generate any um, any combination for, then I see nothing for the for the concrete design. Then it's empty, of course. Yeah, um, this uh, only is a short overview um, how the construction stages are considered in combination with the design. The next step would be the documentation or the printout report. Uh, I also only want to give a short overview how um, the construction stage uh, construction stages could be considered um, at the moment for the um, for the documentation. So I have different uh, possibilities. I want to show two um, how I um, could print graphics. Um, of the construction stages into the printout report. I already um, generated a simple printout report without some graphics, only some um, automatically generated tables for the construction stage. And now I want to print uh, graphics to the printout uh, report. And I want to show the first possibility, which would be um, to generate different um, windows um, and then print um, um, different windows at the same time to the uh, printout report. I here generate um, four windows and I will show them um, vertically tiled uh, vertical um, I only want to, uh, I, I have to ad uh, adapt also the, the view, I choose the same view here for all the stages and here I can switch to the construction stages, um, yeah, and then prepare um, the screen for, for printing, I also could select it clicking here. So and I have uh, four windows with my defined uh, graphics. Maybe can I maybe can uh, turn off the uh, axis or one of the axis. And let's say this one I forgot it before I defined the windows. And then um, the graphics are ready for printing them to the printout report. So I can here um, choose uh, print graphics to printout report. And maybe, right, no, yeah. And then um, I will get, uh, get this preview of this, uh, of the images. And I could here choose, at the moment there's a choose current uh, picture only but I want to use more um, windows in, in one print, so I can choose here more. And maybe I can switch to not as as a screen view. I can choose here window filling uh, to see the structure a bit larger. And then the graphics should be prepared and yeah, this would be one possibility how to print 
the um, graphics or how to consider the construction stages for printing the graphics to the uh, printout report. If I um, use here, okay, the graphics are printed in the in the in the printout report. I see it here, and yeah, this is the first possibility. The second possibility would be uh, the multi-print function. Therefore, I have uh, to use uh, to use it. Uh, I have to close uh, my the these additional windows and go back to uh, only one window. Um, at the moment, the the there is no special filter um, related to the multi uh, print um, for considering the construction stages. This will released soon at the moment uh, I have to create uh, the the uh, views uh, manually so I can here switch between the stages and generate the view so I will show it um, so for example I showed for the first three construction stages um, I can here create three user-defined um, views and then uh, print the um, or use the multi uh, the, the multi print function related to the user-defined um, views in the future there will be some kind of an automatically way for using the uh, created uh, stages directly um, for printing, but here at the moment I have to do it manually. I will go back to, uh, to the preview function um, and now I can maybe I can prepare my um, graphic first before I use the multi print function. I want to print more than one picture uh, um, for a site mm, so I can here say it is not not the completely high is used. I use maybe only so the percentage and then I maybe can because uh, it's better from the fitment I can rotate it uh, 90 degrees there yeah, and then I can I have it um, defined for one picture and now I can use the multi print and choose in the next register which um, views uh, should be used for the multiprint uh, multi function. And here you uh, in the future will find some additional settings regarding stages where you uh, could use automatically generated um, views. So here this is an um, this is the or this was the second possibility um, how printing the construction stages um, as possible. So um, this should be should be the uh, part regarding the documentation. Um, the next part, uh, maybe I can show the printout report. There should be the graphics now there. Yeah, there's one. Oh, yeah, maybe I have to start with um, um, with a new page here if I want to use them all on on one page. And here and uh, above is the uh, combined graphic. I uh, just recognized I forgot to change the language in the printout report to to English, but I I think it is. Uh, um, you see what um, how the graphics would look like doesn't matter which um, which uh, language is used yeah this is um, this would be the um, the uh, big example I now want to show some um, smaller examples or features regarding the construction stages one feature is and this is uh, 
quite new uh, compared to RFM5. Mm. The possibility to combine the construction stages uh, with other add-ons or other types of analysis. Uh, yeah, of other, uh, of other types of analysis. Mm. So for example, um, I could combine the um, the construction stages analysis with the stability analysis. Mm. And here is maybe some practical uh, example. So if I imagine I have here only the first um, two stages of our example, I define them as I did um, before in the uh, bigger example. Maybe I don't have yeah. got the nodal supports in the first stage and the line supports. But this time maybe I uh, do something wrong in the input and um, I will choose here for the second stage the column but I will forget the slab here. So if I want to calculate this construction stage 2 um, there will be an um, instability due to uh, this column which is hinged at the beginning and at the end and then could freely move if there is no um, no slap here or no support uh, at the top. So I define the stage without the slap and I will probably get uh, instability in this uh, construction stage too. This is here, this uh, example is quite obvious or the reason for the instability which I get now in the construction stage 2. The reason is quite obvious but you will have um, or you probably will have some situations in reality where it is not so obvious and then you could use or you could combine the construction stages with uh, another um, analysis here um, with the structure uh, stability. So I will activate um, also the structure uh, stability add-on and then I will open the construction stage 2 again and then I can use for the construction stage um, 2 um, the uh, stability analysis and here I uh, do not uh, use the normal uh, eigenvalue method. I knew, uh, use some special method which is able uh, to find the eigen shape for the instable structure. This is this function here. So the stability analysis uh, analyze is um, uh, able to calculate the, uh, the mode shape here. For this uh, uh, for the situation where the structure is not uh, stable. So I will do the input and calculate again. Of course the statical analysis is still not possible to calculate but the stability analysis is uh, able to calculate uh, for the construction stage 2 and we now see here um, the reason for the instability. So uh, we see it uh, see graphically the, the the reason for the instability. So we see here that the column is able um, to move freely. So this is um, one example uh, where it is possible or where it's also useful to combine the construction stage uh, analysis with uh, uh, some other add-on or other kind of analysis. Um, yeah, for example, you could also use yeah dy dynamic uh, analysis uh, or something like this. It's possible to uh, calculate uh, um, all add-ons and uh, all add-ons with um, construction stages. Yeah, um, this is one small example. There is also an another small example. Um, as I said in the beginning, there is also the possibility to 
modify uh, structural elements in the construction stages. So there's not only the possibility to activate and deactivate uh, elements, there's also the possibility to modify them. Mm. Here's an example um, where I could use this uh, function or where this function could be um, helpful. So I have here prepared an example. The, um, the construction stages are already defined um, for different construction stages. And in the last two construction stages, um, there are uh, in one step applied the steel girders and in the next one this concrete um, slab above. And while um, activating in the last construction stage the concrete um, blade, uh, uh, the concrete slab, um, you, uh, I would also like to change um, the connection of the steel girders, um, so they should change in the, leg, in the last construction stage from hinged to rigid because um, um, you have here, you concrete over here these uh, steel girders and the um, connection will be rigid. So uh, to do this I uh, open the uh, last construction stage and I go to the um, to the register members and then I choose here the three members to um, to modify them or to modify their uh, properties so um, here I can choose um, I want to modify them and here I can uh, could choose which property I want to modify and I say here I want to change the um, hinge at the member start. The program knows or the add-on knows here the, the original uh, value of the hinge and I want to change it from hinged to widget so the new value should be no um, hinge anymore. So and the same for, for the hinge at the member end. And then I could uh, calculate, I first I see here that uh, something has changed, the uh, hinges uh, are not shown anymore for the uh, last construction stage and I could uh, start the calculation of the construction stage uh, stages and I uh, should see um, in the last construction stage for the load which is applied in the last construction stage, I should see uh, moment uh, above the support here. The change to the wireframe model. Here I see for the new applied load in this construction stage um, there uh, will be cast a moment above su uh, support for the um, loads which uh, were applied until construction stage 3. Um, I have here this uh, connection considered as hinged. Yeah. So this um, maybe also as uh, an, a small example how to modify properties uh, by construction stages analysis or in the construction stages analysis. Yeah, um, you know, this should be uh, all uh, from the, from the, um, for the examples. Maybe, maybe at the end I will summarize uh, some new features um, compared to RFM5 and there we had also the, the add-on uh, RF stages and yeah compared to the to RFM5 we have now some new and quite important uh, features. Um, it is now um, for example possible to calculate uh, construction stages without adding a new load so I don't have to add here um, a load case in every single um, construction stage. Here it is only uh, considered the permanent load. But I, am, I don't have to add loads in the construction stages. It is, it is uh, enough to change the structure side. This uh, was not possible in, in RFM5. 
It is uh, also now possible to reactivate elements. Um, this could be, for example, useful if you want to uh, simu simulate um, a renewal of a structure where you remove old parts and add new parts, which are at the same place. This uh, was also not possible in Orphan 5. Um, as we uh, saw in the main example, it is possible to use the automatic combinatorics or combinations of RFM in combination with the construction stages. This was also not possible in RFM 5. And um, in the one of the uh, last examples here, in the, in the small example with the stability, we saw that it is possible to combine the construction stages analysis with other um, add-ons. Um, or what are other, other types of analyzers. Um, this was also not possible in, in RFM5. Yeah, so this uh, may be at the end for summarizing the uh, new features. So this is all from my side. Mm, yeah. Okay, Adrian, you are finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Okay, thank you for the presentation. I, at the end of the webinar, I would like to show you where you can find the recording on our website, global.com. You can find here on the news and events, the webinars. Additionally, you will get an email in the next day with, in the next days, with a link to that page here. That's the today's webinar and you will find the recording here in the middle and the models to download at the bottom here. Those are the models from the, from the German webinar. Yeah, that's quite the same models. Okay, then I would like to say thank you, Adrian, for the presentation. Thanks to Stefan Frenzel for answering the questions. Yeah, thank you for your attention and have a nice rest of the day. Bye bye. Yep, bye.